right here, go get the money. So I go get it. Hate means I do something right. So I'ma let them. Yeah, I'ma let them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'ma let them. I hit the nail on the head. My vlog just got done warming up. About to throw a bullpen, arm feels good, so long tossed. And uh, getting ready for the eighth, which is the Reds pre-draft workout. Be gone all next week away from home, so big stretch of events. Gotta be top notch, so gonna get my work in in this bullpen today. Uh, so hopefully I feel good. up the bullpen went decent uh, could have done a little bit better my velo was pretty good I mean most of my bullpens I don't really throw like a hundred percent but I was still like 90 92 touched a four yeah so pretty decent um, I figured out uh, what I was doing wrong on my front side I gotta like point my glove more towards the like a right-handed hitter when like I'm going through my delivery basically so like like after separation I basically have to get my glove more towards the right-handed hitter to keep my lower half closed so I can stay on plane a little bit longer so good thing that I figured that out worked on some tunneling stuff today and like pitch sequencing and everything like that so getting ready for the upcoming week uh, so basically to like run that down for you guys I've got the Reds pre draft workout on the, I believe, the 8th. Or that's in Atlanta. Then I had to Spartanburg, South Carolina for the Padres workout, which is the 12th. I'll come back home the 14th. Then I have Lumberjacks tournament the 17th through the 20th. So I'll probably throw the 17th in Georgia, I believe. And then I have the draft combine the 22nd through the 28th. I'll leave the 21st and get back the 29th. So that's like eight, nine days um, for the combine. And then I have the Red Sox pre-draft workout at Fenway, which is going to be a sick vlog next month in July on the 7th, so four days before the draft. And then um, July 11th through the 13th is the draft, so a lot coming up, and uh, I'm excited for it. But it's exciting. Lots to come about I'm gonna have a huge decision to make so I mean regardless where I end up either college or pro I'm gonna be in good hands and uh, I'm gonna be excited for whatever route I decide to go whether that's going to college and winning a college world series or going pro and reaching my ultimate goal hopefully which is to play in the major leagues and be a stud it is the next day we are at home about to do some pitching drills got to work on my front side and uh, get ready for next week it is actually a nice day outside. You guys can see out here. So always nice when it's a nice day outside. Field is pretty much ready to go, as you all saw. I got the backstop up, the fence is all done, and uh, I'm just gonna have to line it for opening day. I don't know when that's gonna be, but hopefully soon. So yeah, if y'all haven't already, go subscribe to the NYWL channel right here or it could be on this side. I don't know, either one. But the link will be down in the description for that. We're gonna be uploading all those games and stuff from the Wiffle Ball League on that channel and the Instagram as well, so stay tuned. All right, so for this drill, basically all I have to do is just work on keeping my front side closed. You guys will see what it's like. And then I also have to work on keeping my right or like aiming my glove more at a right-handed batter, which is what I talked about last night after my bullpen, which is something I have to work on to keep my lower half a little bit more intact. And I should be able to generate a little bit more power as well. So I'm gonna work on that. Taking the day off of throwing today, basically gonna treat yesterday like a start day, I guess, because I still have like five days before I throw again. Gonna lift later as well, and that'll pretty much be the day. And then we'll get back on throwing tomorrow. Probably gonna throw a flat tomorrow too, and uh, get ready for Atlanta on the 8th. <laughs> Thank you.
some yard work. I have to line the field outside for opening day of wiffle ball tomorrow. Pretty big day tomorrow. Last day home for the big travel week. Like I said, I'll be heading to two private workouts next week with uh, some pro teams. So I'm going to get opening day of wiffle ball in before I go. And then uh, I'm going to get back and then stay for like a day or two before I head out to Georgia again for a tournament with the Lumberjacks, busy summer. So going to squeeze in wiffle ball games when I can. Push content out on the uh, wiffle ball channel and their Instagram as well. Been doing a lot of work for that recently, like making graphics and stuff. And just keeping up with kind of wiffle ball stuff like that. This is a, a really fun part of the summer. One of the things that I enjoy doing during the summer is hosting this wiffle ball league. So it's a lot of fun. And uh all the guys love it and take it pretty seriously too, so uh, it does get pretty competitive. But uh, like I said, got to go out and line the field. Also got to check and see if this bad boy, the camera, um, I got to find a good angle for outside in the backyard to use for filming the games so I can put them out on YouTube. Um, also have to hook this, this bad boy up to the tripod right there. So... <laughs> It's extremely dry out here, so that means I'm gonna have to hose this down. This end. Third base over there too. So those two are always pretty dry. So when I line the field, I have to make sure that this is wet so the paint actually stays on the dirt. About to line the field and uh, get it all ready for opening day. spot for this camera but here's what it looks like the first paint job of the year is actually normally my best one the lines are pretty straight I'm going to have to do some more setup in the morning for now I'm going to figure out the camera probably go long toss somewhere probably at the new Harper turf so got to take advantage of what's available we are in Atlanta. It is not the nicest day out today, but gonna have to make do here with the weather. Hopefully it doesn't rain on us. We are going to the Reds workout today, so we have to make a stop at Duncan first. I gotta get some breakfast, and we also have to go to Dick's because I'm an idiot and I forgot my belt. I'm not sure what this field looks like, so I guess we'll be in for a surprise with that. I also don't know when I'm gonna throw, so I don't know how long I'll be waiting there for. All I know is that I gotta be there at 11 o'clock. So, I guess uh, we'll see you at the field at 11. Hey vlog, Roman's dad here. Just wanted to give a message out that as parents, we're really proud of Roman. Um, this next, event, next adventure you're gonna see him on is gonna be pretty good. Uh, Reds today, Padres Saturday, Combine at the end of the month, and then the Red Sox. Uh, as much as that hurts me, but um, it's been a, quite a ride and just wanted to give that message out to not only Roman, but to his vlog followers. 
Thanks for following them. It means a lot to us too. See Roman wears his blue jersey to a red workout. Let's have the red socks on. good old apartment 1210 staying here for a couple days gonna work out with Sawyer probably throw a bullpen like a light 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 bullpen on Thursday so gonna get ready for the Padres workout on Saturday kind of to reflect on today definitely a new thing for me um, going to one of those workouts with kind of just one team there so there was a lot of people there a lot of higher end guys like what I mean by that is like national cross checkers um, assistant national cross checkers assistant scouting directors scouting directors assistant GMs all that sort of stuff so guys who have a lot of say were there um, in who they pick for the draft so basically what I did is pretty much just went in there the only assessment they did was grip strength I pretty much just warmed up Got ready to throw and threw about 20, 25 pitches off the mound, and that was it. I mean, obviously, I got to talk to those guys, too, which is nice. Um, they got to know me a little bit, and that's just kind of how it went. But to kind of reflect how I threw, it wasn't my best. I haven't thrown, like, outside off a mound in, like, three weeks. And I also couldn't get a really good grip on those balls. Like, they, we were using, like, AAA balls, which is pretty much major league balls, but... They have the minor league printed on them. So definitely a new feel for me, like actually pitching with like a brand new like pearl like that they use in games for major leagues. So it's definitely really tough to get a grip on those balls. Um, that's why most of my fastballs were missing high in the zone. I was surprised my slider was low in the zone today because I couldn't really get a good grip on the ball to actually throw a slider somewhat in the vicinity of the strike zone. But everything else was pretty decent. Still kind of working on my front side mechanic wise, but other than that, I think it went pretty decent. I have the Padres workout on Saturday in Spartanburg. Then we head to Georgia again. I'll go home for a day and then we head to Georgia again to play with the Lumberjacks 2022s. I'm going to pitch a game there. And then uh, after that, we get ready for the MLB draft combine. A lot to come in the next coming weeks. So stay tuned, guys. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the post notification bell so when I post a new video, y'all don't miss out. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.